Welcome to Rust the Console Edition. One of the really cool things to do in the game is to go scuba diving. And I just happened to spot this structure sticking up out of a rather shallow inlet. Usually you find these ships way out into the ocean area and they're usually marked by a bobbing uh, empty plastic water bottle. Um, but this one was really close to shore. It had vegetation and everything. So I grabbed my dive gear. I happen to be in a warm area. So all I really need is the tank and flippers. If you don't have flippers, you're just going to bob around on the surface and you'll never make it down to all these crates. And you can see why you need the tank. You will drown. Look how long it takes for it. And I'm pushing and holding X this whole time. It's about 20 seconds long, I'm guessing. Something like that. And the dive tanks last for quite a while. They can be refilled at a workbench. And I just kind of swim back up a little bit and grab the loot. There we go. It's so rare and it always looks this clear. It is fantastic. It takes a little bit of maneuvering. I think I'm stuck on the stairway. And yeah, I started to do this one and I kind of drifted off and you've got to start again. It's helpful to have uh, a, a teammate up on the surface and they can kind of jump into the water and obtain the loot from inside the crates because they bob right up to the surface. But it's a lot of fun and you do get a lot of good loot. This one, no, not too much. You're getting some scrap, tech trash. Oh, darn it all, I gotta do it again. Uh, usually you find um, the laptop computers and the uh, TV cameras, which you can use to make auto turrets out of. So, and things like springs and, and gears, which are very valuable. And you can see your oxygen level. It's telling you the level of your tanks. So it was just over nine minutes. So I'm down to like just over eight right now. And you get pretty good loot. Well, let me take you out here. And let me just take you down around this side of the ship. And as you can see, not those stacks, but those. There's still more crates to untie and see what's inside. So let me just, I'll cut after this one. I'll see if I can show you what the water bottle looks like on the surface. You usually see them um, if you're out, I call it the ocean area, far from shore. You see uh, a little pile, like a little island of trash. Usually nearby, you'll see a little, you know, plastic water bottle bobbing in the water. These just miscellaneous. So it looks like there's like six different crates here that you can open up. So I'm just going to skip ahead here. And there, straight ahead at around the 12 o'clock position, you can see one of the water bottles and kind of see, that's usually what you see up on the surface is just about the top half of the water bottle. And like I said, as long as you're in a warm climate, um, you can just use the tanks and the flippers. Flippers are a must. Okay, so I pretty much cleaned up everything off this ship. So I'm going to kind of swim back to shore and you're probably wondering where you get the dive gear. Um, actually, most of the pieces I do find are in two places. One, those large boxes that you find uh, near the pow power pylons where there's sometimes a scientist or four, um, or also just swim straight out into some of these uh, junk piles that are floating and you might have a chance to grab some dive gear out of there also. You just make sure you're doing it in a nice warm climate, the height of the day, because you can see that my temperature is at 26. I am too cold. If I had the wetsuit on, if I had a wetsuit, um, yeah, then it would be a whole lot better. And you can see some of the items that I found. I'll show at the end everything I managed to pick up off that one ship. Now, if you do find multiple floating water bottles, then they're going to be three, four ships at the bottom of the ocean that you can go and scuba down to. I'm just looking out here. There was somebody, I thought I saw somebody on shore running. I don't want to lose everything. It's not much, but I don't want to lose everything. So I decided to play it safe. So I'm going to go ahead and exit the water and go around that giant rock formation, pop out of the water and run up the hill and try to get back to camp. Now, first thing you need to do when you get out of the water is take the flippers off or you're gonna waddle like a duck and wonder why you can't run at all. So my house is right there, and then I will show you what you get commonly 
off of one of the large ships at the bottom of the ocean. Like I said, it's really nice and relaxing. It can get kind of crazy playing the game, so it's a nice relaxing thing to do in the game. So let's get safe. There we go. And let's have a look at what we picked up. There we go. We still have the dust. So we got about 35 scrap, fuse, one of the rare cameras, and a few things. And then down at the bottom, the binoculars and the other item. And unfortunately, none of the dive gear can be blueprinted. I wish they could, but no. Thanks so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.